everyone, this is Elder Pinto and I am back with yet more CryEngine 3 video tutorials for you. This time around we are going to give a very in-depth and advanced look into Sandbox's powerful material editor. Throughout this training series, I'll be showing you step by step how to create a complete library of different materials, ranging from metallic materials, glass, wood, concrete, etc. etc. Um, we're going to go through these one by one, first studying the properties of the material by looking at references and um, analyzing how, it, how, you know, how each of them behave in the light. Then we'll be jumping into Photoshop where we're going to set up and paint the basic textures for each of the materials. Then we are going to tweak the material accordingly and iterating with the texture back and forth until, uh, you know, until we, we have that desired result we are looking for. CryEngine's material editor uh, doesn't use a node-based editor for the materials, but instead uses a very unified methodology to create materials. Um, all the materials, all the parameters are laid out for you to experiment with within a single shader. So, you know, you just need to learn which buttons to push to get your materials to look right. And uh, that's exactly what we're going to be learning here. And you'll see how easy and practical it actually is. Once again, and following the philosophy of CryEngine 3, where everything is real time, the material editor is no exception. All the changes are reflected instantly in the viewport without the need to rebake or, you know, or calculate the lighting or, or anything really. So, you know, you get instant feedback within the materials you're working, which gives you a lot of freedom. I honestly hope you enjoy this training series and uh, without further ado, let's get started. <laughs> 